Let's build another uh, cute application for generating power new windows. Alright, so uh, we'll start a new project. Application, Qt widget applications, and uh, we choose a directory. Example. So now let's take a look at the forms. So we double click that, we will get into Qt Designer. And uh, if you click here, type here, you can we call it file and return. And this says type here, we can call it new window. We'll generate a new window. Okay, so after you type in this new window, you will see in the below, you will get an action. You will see an uh, action. So, and um, what we want is that uh, uh, when we click this new window, we want uh, a window pop out. We want a new window pop out. So, uh, now let's take a look. We can compile right now. And uh, view. You see file, you see new window, and it doesn't pop out anything because we have not uh, read the code to uh, to uh, pop up window when the user clicked uh, new window. So here, act, uh, action new window, we right click and choose uh, go to slot. And uh, for slot, which uh, event we receive from the user, so we choose trigger, which means that user click that. And, uh, and here's the code that will be executed when the user click new window, all right? Now we want to pop our new window, then we need to uh, uh, design that window. Okay, so here click forms and then right click and uh, uh, right click and uh, then uh, this one is, uh, uh, wait a second, so add new. Okay, so As new, we choose Qt and Qt, Qt Designer Form class. Okay, remember we choose Qt and Qt Designer class. Okay, so, and uh, here's the template, the, the forms that we want to uh, use. We can generate the main window, or uh, dialogue, some dialogues with the buttons, and um, with buttons on the bottom, with buttons on the right, and we can choose one without buttons. And uh, here's the class name. And we can name it so whatever we want. And suppose we call it. Uh, uh, suppose we could just call it my my dialogue. Okay, so this is the name that we gave. Okay, all right. And uh, add to this project. This is the project file, and uh, with no one no version control. All right, now we. Uh, doing designing this uh, um, dialogue okay and uh, similar to before we can add a push button this one we can call it close all right and uh, this button I can call it we can call it Alex close button all right okay and then we can add it uh, signal as far as from this so the from this uh, this one sends signal and uh, so this one say clicked and this one will choose close all right so and uh, now we can click that and we don't need to save it all right so now we have this uh, we have this class we have this uh, uh, GUI object which is a window and we have this main window uh, we have this main window right now if you compile, you can compile and uh, okay and run. All right, when you click the new window, nothing pop up. Be that's because uh, we have not have the we have the, we don't have the code. Uh, 
we have not written the code for doing to uh, pop up that window to pop up a window okay so because we already have this uh, my dialog uh, my dialog, dialog class so you can see that's my dialog uh, dot cpp my dialog dot h my dialog dot cpp okay so what we can do is so in here uh, let's take a look so here we need to include Okay, so here suppose if we write this in my dialog, my suppose this is my dialog, right? Okay, and uh, suppose we call it just call it dialog. dialog. And uh, we we instantiate the dialog object, and we can dialog dot show will display the uh, the dialog okay and now let's take a look see what will happen we compile and run click on new window you see what what did you notice is that uh, you click new window the window show up and then the window disappear again immediately why that's because when you uh, when we the user click uh, file and then select a new window, this will be executed, and um, and within this function you instantiate a dialog object, and this object you show it the object, and then immediately this function closed, then this object is out of scope, then the object got deleted, right? Because the this object is instantiated in on the stack as we said before, so as we said, so basically. A uh, new dialog would we should not uh, use uh, basically we should not use the stack basically we cannot do it on the stack so we what we have to do is um, we need to instantiate an object uh, on the heap all right so what should we do is in the main window dot h in the main window dot h so here we can instantiate such a um, object so we, this my download uh, okay my download uh, pointer and uh, what do we call it just say for example dialog okay so dialog and uh, then so we basically in the main window we instantiate a dialog object okay so and um, and in the main window dot cpp here then we can we can uh, new dialog okay so this is uh, uh, this we call m dialog okay so if we, uh, okay so then this m dialog will in the main window dot cpp so here So what we will have is uh, this uh, my dialog. We will basically instantiate the uh, uh, instantiate an object. So my dialog, and uh, this is to specifies when you, for example, if you tap this new dialog, and uh, you will see this specifies the parent. The parent means that uh, uh, specifies this dialog uh, who is the parent of this dialog you specify this this means the uh, the main the current main window so what's the, what does that mean if this current main window is the uh, parent of this my dialog uh, window uh, basically when the main window is closed if the, you close the main window then this uh, this dialog will also be automatically closed so that's the meaning of this uh, uh, specifying the parent and then we show that 
okay and also so when we click so when we click this um, uh, generate a new window then this function will be executed so now let's uh, um, right down log let me take a look all right it says main window dot h so main window let's come main, main window dot h actually we forgot to include include uh, dialog.h all right let's compile again let's back to the oh, oh, oh we got one extra this okay now it works now you click new window and we generate a, a dialog and then we click close that that thing is closed Okay, and uh, you can also click close this. If you close this, then that thing is closed. All right. So we have an we in this uh, every time when we click this new window, we create a new dialog object. And uh, now there's no problem. Where did we delete that? Okay. So we should delete it. And uh, we, this uh, this. Um, dialog pointer is specified we define in this uh, main window dot h so in the main window dot cpp in the uh, d structure we can delete this delete my dialog m dialog all right so that's the place we should delete now in one close it works fine And now let's take a look if we do not specify this if if we do not specify this as the parent and uh, what will happen and uh, then we can delete that we uh, compile and run click new window we got a new window and if we kill this main window you see this dialog still persist so that's the meaning of this uh, specify the current main window as the parent of this uh, uh, pop-up pop window. All right. Another thing is uh, another thing is uh, is about citing. Uh, another thing is about um, citing the uh, citing set model. So, which means that w if we uh, do it here, let's take a look. If um, I'm dialog set model is set to be true. If we do that, now let's take a look what will happen. And uh, run it. And we click new window we get a new window and now if you clicked if you uh, click the main window it will doesn't allow you to do that so which means that uh, um, you have to operate on this uh, only after you this the focus can come back to the uh, the main window all right so that's this example